Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 7, Leçon P. And in this lesson, we'll discover together le conditionnel passé. So, maybe some of you might think that it's a bit early to introduce this conditionnel passé form because normally it comes a bit later. But still, I think that we've been introduced this conditionnel présent form in this unit, so it's still warm and I still have the feeling and I have the feeling that normally it should be okay for avoir and être, so at the conditionnel présent. That's the reason why I think it might be useful to introduce this conditionnel passé form, especially because it's not that difficult if you master the conditionnel présent form and then the passé composé, I mean by that, these participe passé forms, okay? So we'll see how it goes. And then the first thing that we'll see in this lesson is l'utilisation, okay? So when do we use this conditionnel passé form? And the second thing that we'll work on is la formation, so the way we make it or we build it, okay? So let's start with the first one, so utilisation, okay? And then the first use that we will have for this conditionnel passé it's to express regrets, exprimer les regrets, exprimer des regrets, okay? So that's the first, well, one of the first use, let's say. The second one would be une information non confirmée. So if you're looking at the news, for instance, and then they want to talk about something that happened, but then they don't have all the... Uh, elements to con confirm this information. So normally in that case, they just use this conditionnel passé form, okay? And then something, I mean, the last one would be imaginer des situations irréelles dans le passé. So you want to imagine some situations that, well, technically are not real and they take place in the past. So that's the use of le conditionnel passé. Okay, so first one, exprimer des regrets here. Second use, information non confirmée. And then the last one, imaginer des situations irréelles dans le passé. Okay, and now let's see how we make this conditionnel passé. All right, so first example I wanted to put is je mangerai au restaurant. Okay, so this sentence if you remember, we saw that in, uh, well, these units anyway, when we introduced this conditionnel présent form, okay? So you've got the verb, the verb is manger, je mangerai au restaurant. And then, if you look at the conditionnel passé, well, it will go like, j'aurais mangé au restaurant, okay? Second example, tu regarderais la télévision, Tu aurais regardé la télévision. Okay, so same thing here. The first one is at the conditionnel présent form. Second one, conditionnel passé form. And then, il irait au travail would become il serait allé au travail. All right. So if you look carefully, then what you can see? I mean, you can see first that it is composed. So you've got two parts. The first one here is avoir. Then you've got what we called and what we saw previously for the passé composé form. This is participe passé, okay? Past participle. Here the same way. Have a look. It's avoir and then it's the past participle. Regardez. And here we've got être and here we've got the past participle. So maybe if you want to construct this conditionnel passé form, you will have first to use avoir, like we saw, but then avoir should be at the conditionnel présent form. Okay? Then you will put after this participe passé form that we saw previously when we introduced the passé composé because that's the second part that we use for the passé composé as well. All right, so first, avoir at the conditionnel présent form, plus participe passé, past participle, then you will get your conditionnel passé form. Okay? But we saw as well that in some cases, we'll use être, 
But then, same thing, it should be at the conditional present form. Whoops, <laughs> plus participe passé, so it doesn't change. And it will give you conditionnel passé. Okay, so you get to remember that in most of the cases, in most of the cases, you will use avoir. Okay, so if you're not sure, if you've got a doubt, then put avoir. Okay, if you know that it should be constructed with être, then put être, of course. Okay, in both cases, remember that should be they should be at the conditionnel present form. All right, so we'll see. So the verbs that will require être will be the following, aller, to go, arriver, to arrive, descendre, to go down, devenir, to become, entrer, to enter, to come in, to go in, monter, to go up, mourir, to die, naître, born, partir, to leave, rester, to stay, retourner, to return, sortir, to go out, tomber, to fall, venir, to come. Okay, so all these verbs will require être for this conditionnel passé form. And then if you remember what we've been seeing for the passé composé, uh, well, they are exactly the same verbs that will require être whether for the passé composé or then for the conditionnel passé and the good news is that we've got other composed tenses in French and this list will be always the same so it means that this list of verbs that will require être will be the same for all these composed tenses okay so remember one more time aller arriver Descendre, devenir, entrer, monter, mourir, naître, partir, rester, retourner, sortir, tomber, venir. Okay, so remember, you will have to use être with these verbs. Okay, so as I said, être, but then for the conditionnel passé, être should be conjugated at the conditionnel Present. All right, so let's see that. But then the other uh, group of verbs that will require all the time être will be what we call les verbes réfléchis, so reflexive verbs, okay? And they usually goes like se regarder, okay? Se regarder, s'appeler, se présenter. So they will use être for this conditionnel passé form, but then, well, it, I mean, they are the, exactly the same verbs, you know, as we saw for this part, uh, passé composé, so it is always the same rule, okay, so se regarder, s'appeler, se présenter, so all the reflexive verbs will require être at the conditionnel passé, okay, so let's see now how avoir and être how they go at the conditionnel présent, because that's the first part that you will have to put. So it's j'aurais, tu aurais, il aurait, elle aurait, nous aurions, vous auriez, ils auraient, elles auraient. Okay, so that's what you will use in most of the cases. Okay, so let's see that, let's see it one more time. J'aurais, remember, final S not pronounced. Tu aurais, same thing here, final S not pronounced. Il aurait, elle aurait, final T not pronounced. Nous aurions, liaison here, this little link, nous aurions, final S not pronounced. Vous auriez, liaison here, and then a Z will go like E. Vous auriez, okay, and the last one. Ils auraient, so liaison here. Elles auraient. And then look, if you've got A, I, E, N, T, then phonetically it goes like aurait. Okay, so phonetically you've got aurait here, aurait, aurait, and here as well, aurait. Okay, so it's quite easy to produce orally. And then être, je serais, tu serais, il serait, elle serait, 
nous serions, vous seriez, il serait, elle serait. OK, so we'll see that one more time. Je serais, same thing here, final S not pronounced. Tu serais, final S not pronounced. Il serait, final T not pronounced. Elle serait, nous serions, final S not pronounced. Vous seriez, so here when you have a, when you've got this a Z at the end, then you get the sound E, seriez. So vous seriez, okay? And the last one, il serait, A-I-E-N-T here, phonetically it goes like E, okay? Serait, elle serait. So same thing here, we've got serait here, phonetically I mean, serait, serait, and serait. So the same sound. Okay, and then for the second part that we use, so what we call le participe passé. So the thing is that for the first group of verbs, so normally the first group of verbs, we talk about the verbs ending at the infinitive form with a air. Okay, so these verbs are quite easy because if you've got, well, have a look at the, the, the first example that I put and it's Parler, parler, to speak, to talk. So you can see that it ends with a R here. It's here, okay? So this is the infinitive form, so the basic form of the verb, okay? And then the participe passé, so this past participle, will be like that, a accent aigu. So parler, all right? Then the verb regarder, a R here, will follow the same rule, regarder, like that, with the accent, accent aigu. And here, when we talk about the first group of verbs, we are really talking about a lot of verbs, okay? So many, many verbs will follow this simple rule, okay? So the second part that you will use for this conditionnel passé, will be written like that if the verb is belonging to the first group of verb. Even the verb aller, aller to go, remember, it's a tricky verb normally when you conjugate it, especially at the present form, but for this past participle form, it is quite easy because it goes like a, l, l, e, accent aigu. So it does follow the same rule, this e, r, become e, like that. Okay, second group of verb, so regular verbs, not all the ER verbs, okay, quite easy as well. Let's take choisir, choisir is to choose, okay, ER like that and it will become E. Finir, to finish or to end, ER and it will become E. Unir, to unite, ER and it will become E. So it's quite easy, okay? Choisir, choisi, finir, fini, unir, uni. So of course, we've got exceptions because we're talking about the third group of verbs and then this one is, well, it, it's tricky. I mean, we've got to be honest with that. The first advice I would give you is to try to remember them by heart, okay? And I've been making um, a video about these uh, tricky uh, participe passé, okay? But then, here, we can have a look at them. So, subgroups here, talking about the one ending with U, okay? So, for example, connaître, to know, will become connu, okay? Voir, to see, will become vu, okay? Ending with I, partir, will become parti, Partir is to leave. Rire, to laugh, will become ri, okay? The one ending with it, like here. Écrire, to write, écrit. Dire, to say, dire. Uh, sorry, di. <laughs> Getting tired. And then is, mettre, will become mi. Mettre means to put. Prendre, to take, will become pri. Okay? So here you've got the past participle, so the, the, the participe passé of these verbs here, okay? So we'll take one example. The example will be parler, parler is to talk or to speak, okay? So 
we will have at the conditional passive form, if you remember, so first part here is avoir at the conditional present, then here we've got the participle passé of parler, and it will give you j'aurais parlé. Tu aurais parlé? Il aurait parlé? Elle aurait parlé? Nous aurions parlé? Vous auriez parlé? Ils auraient parlé? Elles auraient parlé. OK? So I wanted to put this E like that in another color just to tell you that if you've got a normal structure like that, so you've got the subject and then you've got the verb, OK? Nothing in between, so subject, verb. Then if you use avoir, exactly the same rule as we saw for the passé composé. So if you use avoir here, you won't have to modify your participe passé. So it will change, it won't, it won't change, sorry, it will stay like a accent aigu, OK? Even if it's the singular, the plural, or then the feminine. OK? It doesn't change. So it will stay like parler. All right? But if you use être, like here, il serait allé, OK? So remember, allé was belonging to this group of verbs that require être, OK, to construct this conditionnel passé. All right, il serait allé. So in that case, you can see that at the end, it's allé like that without anything after. But then, if we look at the feminine form, elle serait allé, you will have to add this e at the end. Okay, remember e in most of the cases when you have to add something, it's the mark of the feminine. OK, so elle serait allée. OK, but then phonetically it doesn't exist. All right, so it's allé here and then allé here the way you pronounce it. But if you want to write correctly, you should put it. And then the same thing for the plural. We will have to put the plural and then the mark of the plural, the thing that we've got to add at the end, will be S. The good news as well. You don't pronounce it, as usual in French. You write it, you don't pronounce it. Okay, so it doesn't change. It's aller here, aller, and then aller. Okay, phonetically, the same thing, but remember, it's just a question of, well, being correct if you want to write it. Okay, and then, logically, feminine plural, then you should add a mark of the feminine, as we had previously, and S, mark of the plural. And guess what? You don't pronounce it. Okay? So phonetically, it's aller, 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 and aller. All right? But you need to write them. Okay? So let's see now the full thing. So je serais allé. Okay? And then if you want to make the liaison, it would be more beautiful. Je serais allé. Tu serais allé. Il serait allé, elle serait allé. Nous serions allés. Vous seriez allé. Il serait allé, elle serait allé. All right, so that's it. And then one example with these reflexive verbs that we saw. And then, well, I just wanted to use this se présenter. Okay, so je me serais présenté. Tu te serais présenté? Il se serait présenté? Elle se serait présentée? Nous nous serions présentés? Vous vous seriez présenté? Il se serait présenté? Elle se serait présentée? All right, so if it's not really clear yet for these uh, reflexive verbs, I mean, the way you should conjugate them, I definitely advise you to check the, the, the lesson. Uh, regarding these uh, reflexive verbs because uh, I've been making one video regarding that so it would be it would be easier for you to understand the way we construct it especially in that case why we put this je me tu te etc okay all right so remember the last thing that you should 
remember before ending this lesson is that when you construct this conditionnel passé, so in most of the cases you will have to use avoir at the conditional present form, then the participle passé, and it will give you conditional passé. Okay? In some exceptions, so we saw the list of verbs you should really try to remember them by heart. I know it's not easy, but you know, try your best. And then the, the reflexive verbs, okay? So for these exceptions, we will use être at the conditional present form, then the participle passé, and it will give you this conditional passé form. Okay. I hope it was clear. Uh, YouTube.com slash Imagier, that's the place where you can find all the videos, and then the website is here, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye.